What's up everybody, Fish on Forte here. Hey, I get a lot of people ask me, hey, Fish on Forte, why aren't you fishing today? Today, it's gorgeous out there. Yeah, it may be gorgeous on land, but out in the ocean, it's a different story. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go to a, through a couple of things that I look at on the uh, computer here to prepare to go fishing. Like say today is Tuesday, which today is Tuesday, and I wanna go fishing, say Friday or Saturday. We're gonna look into that right now. All right, let's check it out. Okay, the first two sites I usually look at is on windy.com and windfinder to see what the wind's going to be like. Now, I fish about uh, 40 to 50 miles out, but we're going to just get a general area right here. And we're going to click on that. And right now, we're looking at 19 knot winds out there. So, like, like I said, it might look good on land here where I am. It's saying what? It's only 8 to nine knots you know nine nine eight so it's nice here but out in the ocean not so much as you can see it's 19 knots out there so that's blowing pretty good so that's one thing we take into consideration but that's today I don't really look at the weather for today if I'm not fishing today what I want to look at is Friday let's just say we're going fishing Friday <clears throat> you see the time there it's 12 o'clock uh, I usually get out the inlet about uh, six o'clock so that's looking pretty good. As you can see, that's nine knots, which is great. I can deal with nine knots all day long. And what I do is I press this, uh, sorry about that. I press this play button and it takes me through a range of uh, uh, wind speed as it goes throughout the day. So let's do that and see what we get here, okay? It drops down. So all day long, Friday, offshore, it's looking pretty good. So that's one thing I look at. Then I come over here to Wendy, and I go on Friday as well. And I just try to verify that it's about the same. And it's saying nine miles an hour at eight. It's saying eight miles an hour at 11 o'clock. Three miles an hour at uh, two o'clock, which is fantastic for um, bottom fishing and five miles an hour at five o'clock and I, I usually um, back in by then so as you can see <clears throat> there's a little disparity in the actual uh, speeds now is this exact no because my pin isn't in the exact location on both of these but it gives me a general idea as to what the speeds of the wind are gonna be like Okay, the next things I look at are uh, ReefCast on saltwatercentral.com. There's a lot of other um, different apps and things you can look at out there to get this information as well. This is just what I use. And what I'm going to do is go to my little area that I fish in here. And I'm also going to the uh, marine weather on NOAA. And as you can see here, Friday is what I'm looking at. Now this is just outside the turning basin it's actually outside the inlet there right outside the inlet if you can see that okay because i want to know what the weather's like when i when i go through the inlet so right now it's north northwest winds around seven knots becoming south southwest in the afternoon sunny and seas are around two feet so that's not bad and that's coming out of the inlet so what i do after that is i go to the hourly graph <clears throat> i go to temperature Sky cover, precipitation, rain, thunder, fog. I usually set this to miles per hour. And here it gives you a two day forecast. So here I want to go down to, let's just say Friday so I can look at Friday and Saturday. And now 
I have all of this information. I can see which direction the wind is coming from. The wind is coming from this direction to this direction, okay? So from the flag to the little circle. That's, that's the way the wind is flowing or blowing, I should say, okay? So it's looking pretty good. I don't see any thunder. I see very little chance of rain early in the morning on Friday. And right here, it's showing five foot, excuse me, two foot seas every five seconds, which is very doable in uh, my boat. And it looks like it's two feet throughout the day there, all into Saturday until about 5 p.m. where it turns to three foot seas. Now, the wave period may change and that's something that we'll have to constantly look at until it's time for us to go fishing and hopefully this sea state of two foot seas stays the same throughout this period that they have annotated here okay now since i got that over here on this one i'm gonna go here because i'm trying to work my way offshore okay there's the big rock right here but let's just go midway okay now when i go midway on Saltwater Central's uh, reef cast, I'm looking at Friday, and right now it says 2 foot, 2.46 uh, foot seas every 5.5 seconds. As you can see, you can read that just as well as I can. So that's giving me the sea state. So here, maybe a little bit bumpier than Saturday. As you can see, Saturday, you're looking at 2 foot seas every 6 seconds, 2 every 6 two every six so it's much better on saturday it looks like than on friday however friday is is definitely doable okay now what i do is i bring up the secondary wave period and if you see the lines together like this that means it's not going to be very choppy when you start seeing lines separate like this it's going to make for uh some chop on the water out there especially if you see different wave periods like this blue is your primary wave period and the purple up here is your secondary wave period. So here, let's take let's take here for instance. You have 4.3 foot waves every 10 seconds, or well, about 11 seconds, and every 6.3 seconds. So that could cause for some uh, some serious chop out there, especially when those waves combine like they you uh, do sometimes, and you'll get a six foot wave. Okay. After that, we're gonna go to our wave direction. So now we can see that this wave is going south, southeast. Our secondary wave direction, you can see here, this is our primary wave direction, and this is our secondary wave direction. So here, you'll have a little bit of a chop in there, as well as right here, okay? Right here. If those aren't joined together like this, you're gonna have a little bit of chop out there. Now. Like I said, this is still doable. I have to go slow when I go out there, but it's still doable. Okay, once I look at that, I look at the uh, wind direction I already know from looking at it over, over here on this one. Wind speed, I can look at that as well. And this is in knots over here. So I'm under 10 knots the whole, t whole weekend, which is good. Okay, now we've looked at that. We move on to rip charts. Okay, and on this side, we move on to the weather buoy or buoy weather. I like buoy weather because it gives me the bathymetry so I can get a little bit closer to where I want to be as far as getting information. So let's just say there, for instance, heading out to the big rock. Now this will only give me a two day forecast because I don't have the, uh, the full subscription. So Thursday, when this turns to Thursday, I'll be able to see Thursday and Friday's weather. But right now, since it's only Tuesday, these are the only two days they'll give me without giving, um, buying the uh, subscription. Okay, as you can see here, this is your wind speed. So let's just say today at 12 a.m., there's a wind speed of 10 knots and a gust of 10 knots. But as you can see, it changes. Like say at 9 p.m. tonight, you're gonna have average winds of 20 knots. 
and a gust of 22 knots. So that's something you have to take in consideration as well as a uh, surface wind and things of that nature as well. See here, you can see where it says waves. We're looking at say 6 a.m. tomorrow, six foot waves and peak of eight foot waves with a period of six seconds. So every six seconds, you'll be seeing a six foot wave and the possibility of seeing an eight foot wave. So that's something you have to take into consideration as well, okay? Now over here, I'm looking at the altimetry and the altimetry is gonna give me a general idea of where the good fishing is gonna start as far as upwellings and things of that nature, which is a totally different uh, topic than what we're talking about right now. But we can get into that. I may do a, a video on, <coughs> excuse me, rip charts and altimetry so we can get a better understanding of that. Okay, we wanna see the seafloor somewhat, so we wanna get rid of altimetry being so bright. Okay, so now looking at the altimetry, see this area right here? That's a good area to fish, not necessarily inside here, but along the edges here. Be even better if, it, if this right here, this area here was closer to shore. But since we have to work with what we have, I would start fishing in this area right here. That's a pretty good area to start fishing. Then I will probably try to work my way up here because those are the, for this area, those are the best fishing spots right now. Not to say those are the best fishing spots ever. You know, this out here would be better, but that's all we have right now because we can't run out that far. I'll run out of gas. All right. Okay, another thing I look at in rip charts would be the currents. And I just go here to overlays, select type. And we're going to go down to currents. And we're going to select the latest one they have. Okay. I'm going to get out of there. So now we see the currents. Sorry about that, guys. I'm moving kind of fast there. But as you can see, the green current is moving pretty fast. There's a huge eddy right there, but that's uh, way offshore. And again, what we can do here is we can take the current and we can make it opaque a little bit. So now I see the altimetry, I see the seafloor, as well as the current. So that's the Gulf Stream coming up through here. And then you got an eddy way out here that spun off the Gulf Stream, okay? But the Gulf Stream continues to go up. There's an eddy right down there too, it looks like. So right here's a nice piece of uh, current that is going uh, backwards. It's going against the Gulf Stream, which is going... Okay, another thing I look at in rip charts would be the currents. And I just go here to overlays, select type. And we're gonna go down to currents. And we're gonna select the latest one they have. Okay. I'm gonna get out of there. So now we see the currents. Sorry about that guys, I'm moving kind of fast there. But as you can see, the green current is moving pretty fast. There's a huge eddy right there, but that's uh, way offshore. And again, what we can do here is we can take the current and we can make it opaque a little bit. So now I see the altimetry, I see the seafloor, as well as the current. So that's the Gulf Stream coming up through here. And then you got an eddy way out here that spun off the Gulf Stream, okay? But the Gulf Stream continues to go up. There's an eddy right down there too, it looks like. So right here's a nice piece of uh, current that is going uh, backwards. It's going against the Gulf Stream, which is going south, vice north. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm still trying to get over whatever I have, fish on viewers. But uh, that is what I look at starting say today and i will look at this information every day until 
the day I get ready to go fishing. And even that morning, I wake up at three in the morning at 3.30, I'm looking at this information again. I'm also looking at information on my serious weather so I can get information as I'm going offshore as well on my fish finders or my MFDs, whatever you want to call them. And we'll look at that at another date too. All right, fish on viewers, if you like this video, hey, give me a thumbs up, man, and let me know if you have any other sites that you like to look at to get your information when you prepare to go offshore. All right, until next time, Fish on Forte, out.